Hey man, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing all right. I don't know if anyone's asked you that today. Probably no one has. So I'm gonna ask you. I hope you've been doing good and I hope you've had a productive day. So you clicked on this video. You wanna be able to wake up early and more importantly, consistently at the same time every single day. And I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna answer this for you, how you can do this with just three steps. However, you are gonna need all of these steps to work. If you don't do even one of them, you, this isn't gonna work. So you need all of them. So stick to the end of the video. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. So the first one is don't sleep with your phone. Everyone knows that like blue light is bad for you. Don't sleep with your phone. Typical stuff like you knew that this would be in the video when you clicked on it, but maybe you don't know why blue light is so bad for you. Maybe you've never actually researched why it isn't good for you. And the reason is, is because blue light from like your phone and like devices messes up with your circadian rhythm. Blue light messes up with your circadian rhythm. Now, what is your circadian rhythm? Circadian rhythm is your internal clock. It's when your body sees the sunrise, it then thinks, oh, now is the time to get up. And when your body sees the sunset, oh, now is the time to go to sleep. Now the thing is, a lot of us don't see the sunrise and sunset. And right before we sleep, we have all this harsh blue light in front of our eyes. So instead, when we're supposed to be asleep, we've got all this harsh light. So our body then thinks, oh, it's time to get up. That's why blue light is bad. It messes up with your circadian rhythm. So stop sleeping with your phone. And yes, some people might say like, oh, but I have blue light filters. I put my phone on nighttime mode. I have these blue light filter glasses. They are very helpful, yes, they are really, really good. However, you're probably using your phone in a very overstimulating way. So you're on YouTube, you're binge watching Netflix, anime, you're doom scrolling on Instagram, TikTok. All of this is still super stimulating. So it's still gonna keep your mind awake. This isn't stuff to make you sleep. It's still gonna keep your mind awake. So it doesn't really matter that it, you haven't got all this blue light you're still keeping your mind awake, stimulating it. So first thing, don't sleep with your phone. Put it on the other side of the room so when you hear the alarm, you actually have to get up and walk to it to turn off that stupid iOS alarm. Second point, fix your circadian rhythm. Now, how we're gonna do this, how we are gonna fix your internal clock is when you get up in the morning, get as much sunlight into your system as possible. Not just sunlight, any light, but mainly sunlight. Get as much light into your system as possible. So when you get up and you actually have to walk to your alarm to turn off the alarm, make sure that you turn on the lights to your room as well. So you, the, your mind is seeing all this light. So your internal clock is gonna start waking up your mind, your body is seeing all this light first thing in the morning, so your mind is gonna start thinking, okay, now it's time to wake up. Your circadian rhythm will start being put back on track and being fixed. So the second point is fix your circadian rhythm. Get as much sunlight into your system as possible. When you can see outside, like I am right now, it's currently nine o'clock, my alarm just went off for nine o'clock, uh, which is when I should have finished this, but I haven't because I, this is my fourth attempt. When there is sunlight outside, or you can just see outside, go outside and get as much sunlight into your system as possible. It will fix your circadian rhythm and you will actually be awake. Third thing, third thing, and that is drink water. When you actually get up from your room, you've woken up from your bed and you've turned on the light, you've walked to your phone to turn off the alarm, make sure you have water right next to your phone because in that way you can drink water first thing. Your body has been asleep for eight hours, or probably less, or probably more. Your body is gonna be really, really thirsty. When you think, oh, I'm super tired, I don't wanna get out of bed, you're probably not out of, not out of like tiredness. It's probably actually out of thirstiness. You're probably really thirsty. You know, those times where you're in your bed, you're awake, but you're just lying in bed for hours upon hours, but you're struggling to get out of bed, even though you're wide awake, that's because you are thirsty. And also because you probably have your phone with you. So uh, we've already solved that problem though in the first step. So this time we're solving the next section of the problem, the fact that you're thirsty. So drink water and also a little tip, which is what I do. When you have that 
water, that bottle of water or a cup of water, dip your fingers in it and just rub it on both your eyes and get rid of all the sleepies on your eyes. Uh, because that not only does like splashing water in your face literally wake you up, but it just makes you feel a bit more clean. And that's it. That, that's just three steps and that's it. So if you think about it, all it is is getting up, your phone's on the other side of the room, you turn on the lights, you walk to your phone, turn off the alarm, and you drink water. That's it. However, even though this takes you five minutes, I have been doing this consistently for the past month, and I have been able to get up at 6 a.m. every single day. From literally just three steps, that takes me five minutes. That's it. That's how much of a change this can make. However, you're going to find that actually doing this is really difficult. So, if you're on self-improvement, you got this. Okay, just stay consistent. You got this. I believe in you. Now you just got to believe in you. Anyway, hopefully this helped you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. Mwah. Just to let you know, uh, no homo. Because I don't swing that way. I think there's a cow behind me. Or like, I'm hearing cows. Like, I'm hearing someone moo. And if that's a human being, then God help them. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of sheep over there as well. Do you want to see it, actually? Oh, hells yeah, we're going to show you. <sighs> Look over there. Sheep. Sheepy sheeps. Yummy yums. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. <laughs>